Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode of Let's Play as Jerusalem. So we're doing pretty well at the moment. We have quite a bit of land and we have a vassal all along the coast of the Ottomans which when we absorb them will give us basically this entire coastline. We just need this and this and then Constantinople will be connected. In fact this, this and this will connect up this land and even if we can get Kanik <coughs> That will connect. That will block off that entire coast for the Ottomans, so they'll only have Greece left. This is also our vassal, so doing that would give us essentially all the way from Georgia down to uh, the Red Sea, along the coast anyway. Uh, and then we can start filling in these bits later, maybe taking all this just to completely landlock the Ottomans on this side. This, I don't even know what would happen to this. A lot of it would probably flip. I'm not sure if he'd be able to... Uh, deal with revolts over there anymore. Anyway, I do believe that the the end of last episode was me saying that I would declare war on the Mamluks. They're allied with Crimea, and they're allied with Yemen, Karakoinu, and Adal. Crimea don't scare me too much, especially if Poland join in the war. Karakoinu are actually a little bit scary. Karakoinu attempting to be my main target for war, because they're actually only allied with Oman and the Mamluks. Oman is over there and I don't care. But realistically what I want is I want to beat up the Mamluks and this will allow me to get Kara Koinu out of the war at some other point before finishing off the Mamluks. Crimea don't scare me too much. Yemen not too much of an issue. Kara Koinu are scary and Adal I'm not even sure where they are but they also don't worry me. Possibly because I don't know where they are. The point being end of the month I want to take over just so that we just so that everything's ticked so that revolt risk goes away etc Poland has oh of course Poland has a disputed succession they always have a disputed succession so our total military that we're going to fight against is going to be Mamluks 11,000 you've just seen this but I haven't so I'm just refreshing myself so that's 30, 40,000 plus Yemen. Okay, so about 40,000. And a bit. My military is 25, but I believe Poland and Venice were willing to join. Uh, Venice and Poland are going to join. So Poland will take care of Crimea, but probably won't be able to come down here. Venice will hopefully, once I start defeating Mamluk armies, Venice will hopefully come down. Karakoinlu troops, there's a lot of them, but they're not that threatening, because they're Horde. Um, I could call Karakoinlu in as co-belligerent. Oman aren't actually getting involved currently. But I don't think they're very scary either. Oman. They have, well, they have 11,000, so let's not. Okay, Austria won't join because distant war, in debt, war exhaustion, occupied, oh yeah, they've got, yeah, they've got stuff going on. Naples won't join because it's a distant war, that's a shame. Could I get my alliance with Italy back before declaring this war? No great power allies for both of us, okay. Is there a coalition against the Mamluks? No. They're currently at war with Hedges, Shamar and Oman. Oh, so they wouldn't be able to call Oman in anyway. So we might as well call Kara Koinlu in as a co-belligerent. Because <coughs> they won't be able to call Oman in. Wonderful. And let's show superiority, I think. 75% aggressive expansion. So this is holy war. 75% aggressive expansion. 125% <coughs> prestige. Max Diplo Power, Max Cost for stuff. Yeah. We get more prestige, basically. Ramaz and Imereti have joined us, obviously. Let's go and kill the Mamluk army as soon as possible. We've got a four shock general, so that's good. Right, let's go. Uh, Venice is honoured. Uh, Georgia, oh, our ships are being attacked. Not an issue.
So the war, for those wondering, looks like this. Not too concerning. Uh, having Crimea and Georgia in the war means that Poland can get down to the um, Kara Koinlu if they want to, so that should hopefully be useful. Um, what threat are we at here? They've got three galleys, four transports. I think that our ships are going to be fine, especially with Imirati backing us up, so we'll leave them trading. And the Mamluks have gone to the Suez. Won that battle. The Mamluks are going to run away for a little while. coming over here so that they can unseize their province. Or they're just being silly. We won another battle over there. Captured a ship. We captured a galley. Well, leave it in the fleet. Uh, and that was the Mamluks army, everybody. <laughs> right, Dumya is going to be important to us so that we can walk back, uh, so that we can walk between all of our provinces. Serbia likes us again. We should improve relations with Poland because they're so important to us and Italy for now. Right, Kara Koinlu are going... Oh no, they are coming south. Dumyat. Go see Cairo. going to split off a whole bunch of siege teams and start sieging everything. And uh, if Kara Koinlu comes down here to bother me, then I'll actually do something about it. I feel like Venice hasn't had any improved relations in a while. Attach to this unit, not this unit. No, that's a level 2 fort, so we can split you guys in half. And we can actually split you guys in half. I'll send you over there. Kara Coin, you're up there sieging. Be able to win this war anyway. <coughs> they've got a. They've also got a one four. That maneuver's better though. Whoop! Um, our old monarch has died. So it's a good thing we declared war when we did. I guess we've lost a little bit of stability. That's not an issue though. And are we winning this battle? We are winning this battle. I figured we would. We're not going to crush them, but it's good enough. Get them off my land at least. 
the Mamluks have an army over there. So, let's go and deal with them as well. Come back from Venice, provincial unrest in some places I don't care about. Oh, we've got no manpower. That could be an issue. I think when I was discussing the pros and cons of this war in uh, the last episode, I was probably mentioning that I had no manpower, I had high revolt risk, etc, etc. Et but I've forgotten all of that, and I've decided to just go to war anyway. So, hey. I could take more discipline. I am at war, more discipline, and more diplomatic reputation. Wonderful. Right, let's start cleaning up. Oh, you stay there for now. Georgia seeding some Georgian land. attacking me in the back. My vassal is on the case. And I'm also here. Oh, they're retreating that way. Let's get up to Alexandria. Get my cogs out to help blockade. Oh, Poland are down here. That's why I'm not seeing any Karako in the armies. Right, this should be an easy war then. Um, since Poland are there, I will let my vassals... No, I'm going to keep my vassals supportive. However... It is nice once you get to this point in a game where the Muslims have been your main rivals, where they're just pathetic. Uh, my uh, vassal will come to help once I start fighting. No, not even now. Well, whatever. Ah, oh, yes, the problem with no manpower is that actually my siege stacks aren't recovering enough to actually siege. Ah, oh, well. Tell you what then, get back to Alexandria. You also come back to Alexandria. And we'll hire a couple of mercenaries to start sieging. There, there. So avoid spending manpower now that we now that we can. You guys come up here. Diplomatic technology. I think that's fine, yeah. Can upgrade some stuff soon. It's costing a lot of money to reinforce. That's one of the problems. These mercenaries were worth their money, apparently. <laughs> So, I guess the question is, what do I actually want from the Mamluks? Because I'm clearly going to get everything that I want. I'm going to get them up to 100%. Absolutely no problems. 
But what is it that I want? I might give Poland some land in the Crimea. And this isn't a coalition war, so I can separate peace people. Which is nice. We've won the Siege of Aswan. Go there. Looks like my vassal is going to go and fight the Mamluks elsewhere. Where are these guys going? Cairo and then probably to Gaza after that. No, just to Cairo. Coinlu is at it again. Technology is no longer cheaper, but missionizing people is easier. Eleven peasants in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is mm, desert. These guys are coming my way. Let's go stand in Sidon. That's mountains. Oh, of course, they can just go through. In which case, let's go stand in Gaza. Where maybe they can't just go through. And we've taken a loan. Oh, I just wasn't paying attention. So dumb. Okay. A royal marriage back with Naples. I'm clearly all over the place today. Uh, right, let's... You've got Poland to deal with, so you're going to go and deal with Poland. Let's go to Jerusalem. Rebels. Now my vassal is with me as well. Done. And let's go deal with that. One loan won't kill me, and yeah, I'm not going to take another one out anytime soon. Not sure if it's Sidon or Sidon or what. Shamar has become fully westernized. Is this you guys? Oh wow. Well done, you're westernized. Still a vessel of Hajaz though. Vessel? Vassal? Whatever. Poland? Do you mind dealing with that giant army for me? Oh yeah. You're doing it. And you've got another 22 incoming, so I don't think I need to help you out there. I could support your independence, if you liked me more. Let's do that. <laughs> I'll siege down here. That's my mercenaries again. Got them. And we're discovering some more land. Oh, we can see down to Africa. If only we had exploration ideas, or expansion ideas. I think our next idea group might have to be expansion just because, you know, like Africa is just open to colonization. They've gone to the Cape, but yeah, I feel like going into uh, Southeast Asia. Oh, can we? Oh, I want to get some manpower from the Pope. That would be nice. Okay, problems. Let's start improving relations with these guys down here as well. And let's improve relations with Tunis so that we don't get a coalition or anything silly like that going. Wanna siege down there. Carry on. Crimea! Crimea, Crimea, Crimea. When Crimea at 100% then we'll uh, give some of their land to Poland, I think. I wonder if we can make them a vassal of Poland. Probably not. They're not a co-belligerent. Karakoinlu are a co-belligerent, aren't they? Ooh, what can I do to Karakoinlu? I should be seizing them up. I just don't have the manpower. Norway has declared war on Sweden. I keep forgetting Norway is the big bad guy over here at the moment, not Sweden. 
Are they colonising? They should be. Norway get a colonist as one of their national ideas. But they haven't started colonising yet. Which is sad. And obviously they've got Iceland as well, which makes it easier for them to do it. They're just... Not... Let's see, what's that? Where is it? Pioneer spirit. Colonists. Plus one. They're just not bothering. Have they taken any actual colonial ideas? Aristocratic trade, economic defence. Maybe they haven't explored here yet? No, because if I've discovered this, Norway surely has discovered this. Why don't they have any colonists? Oh, wait, wait. They do. They've got a little colony down here. And... Oh, they're in Florida. That's where they're colonising. They're colonising Florida. <laughs> okay, sure. Norwegian Florida. There we are. Anyway, that's it for this episode. So join me next time where we will probably just completely thrash the Mamluks and consider doing something to Kara Coinlu, but probably not. See you then, have a good one.